Hey everyone, Chef Jeff here. Welcome to my kitchen. If you're new to the page, thanks for stopping by and don't forget to hit the old subscribe button. It's there. Uh, like, share, comment. All right, so if you want to think like a chef, you got to understand that sometimes you don't need heat to cook something. So with that in mind, we're going to be making a really classic white fish ceviche. Now, so the whole process of cooking something, you know, from the scientific side of things is when you use heat to cook something, the process is called denaturation. So, and all that means is it's the breaking down of proteins for it to be cooked. So if you want to think about it, if you, if you cook one of these um, jalapenos, it starts off, you know, hard and firm. When it cooks down, it feels soft and that's the denaturation uh, when, when the proteins break down. With ceviche, uh, you're going to replicate that same process with acid. Um, and this is also Cinco de Mayo's coming up, so I'm thinking let's do uh, kind of a Mexican slash hoser style ceviche. So here we are. So what we're going to do is I've got some uh, frozen cod that was brought in uh, from Newfoundland. So thank you, uh, Boyd and Joan, for catching it. And thank you, Doc and Reed, for bringing it to us. Um, so don't be afraid to use uh, frozen fish. You can use fresh fish. You can use shrimp. You can use whatever your heart desires. This is a really mild easygoing uh, white fish is going to pick up a lot of flavor, be a really good canvas for all the, the acidity and the brightness and the flavors we're going to build for this ceviche. So I've got most of it cut and what I'm just going to show you guys is the, the cut size really quickly. Uh, so this is our cod here and you don't need to cut it super, super thin. We're just kind of getting little batons here. Um, the thinner you cut your fish, the quicker uh, you can cure it slash cook it slash denaturate it. So we're just going to cut these guys up and into our, uh, into our vessel here. So what I have here is dirty hands first off. Um, I've got a, a half cup of lime juice and a half cup of lemon juice. Basically, I think it was about five limes and two large lemons. So I've got it all in here and I'm just pouring it over. And you just got to make sure you have enough of that, uh, that liquid to submerge the, uh, the fish. We're going to add a touch of salt and pepper. Mix it up. And depending on the size of your cuts, you can, it can take 20 minutes if you cut it very, very fine, or it can take up to two hours. But these we're going to check. We're going to put them in the fridge, and they should take about anywhere from 90 minutes to two hours. It could be, could be an hour or so. Your kind of dead giveaway is when it is opaque. And uh, we're just going to throw it in the fridge right beside our trusty box of wine, and uh, we'll be back shortly. All right, so while our fish is kind of curing in the fridge here, uh, we're gonna make a really easy avocado salsa that's gonna go in with our ceviche. Some really simple key components to it will be the avocado. Uh, we've got some Roma tomatoes, which are nice and sweet. We've got um, serrano pepper, jalapeno, uh, or jalapeno, uh, some uh, cilantro, and half a red onion. But I'll show you really quick how to, uh, how to process these uh, avocados just to make your life a little bit easier so you're not dicing up a, uh, a sticky avocado. All right. So what you want to do here is you want to make a, you want to make a grid inside of the avocado. Just thin lines. And you're just going to scoop it out into the bowl. Perfect. So all these ingredients, they are, you can modify them in any way you wish. If you've got corn or black beans, ooh, that was loud. You, can, uh, you can also use that as well. Um, so with the uh, jalapeno here, if, you don't, if you're not looking for something too spicy, you can, you can cut down the amount of um, how much you're using. So I'm going to de-seed this. Real quick, make a big mess. Oh, that is, that is some in my eye. All right. <laughs> and you want to cut this really thin. Oh, wait, let me just get rid of this here. There we go. You want to cut these nice and thin. You don't want to be chomping on giant pieces of, of a jalapeno. There we go.
And we're also going to do just a quick diced uh, onion as well. You want to get them nice and thin. All right, so for the tomato, you do want to cut a little bit fine, so you're going to cut nice and thin slices of your Roma tomato. Make sure you're using a really sharp knife, because the, uh, the skin can be a little difficult to cut sometimes, just like that. So my, apparently I'm not as sharp as I thought, which is the story of my life. So we're getting nice thin batons, turning it to the side, and just dicing it up. So when you're cutting cilantro, don't even worry about removing the stems. They're totally edible. They don't get in the way at all. It's one of the few kind of herbs you can you can chop up that won't have any. Uh, you're not going to have any issues chewing on those stems. So what we want to do is dice this cilantro up nice and fine. This is about a third of a bunch of cilantro. So whatever how much you got hanging around, that'll work nicely. All right, big things come in small packages, guys. So this little serrano pepper is gonna pack a lot of heat and we're just gonna chop this thing up really fine and add it to our, uh, our mixture here. There goes the seeds, that feels like enough. You don't, if you, you know, if you don't wanna have a lot of heat in your, in your salsa mix, then you're just gonna cut this stuff out. You don't have to have the jalapenos. You, just the key components here are the tomato, which I've diced up fine, uh, the onion and the, uh, the avocado. So we're just going to kind of work in the avocado and everything and wow, just the, the minute you start moving it around you get that the smell from the uh, cilantro and this is just a beautiful looking mixture. So what we're building from a flavor profile here, you're going to get a bit of creaminess from the avocado. We're going to add in um, three cloves of crushed garlic. So we're going to get that creaminess from the avocado, we're going to get some really nice heat from the, uh, the peppers that we put in. Two caps of... Uh, apple cider vinegar. If you have red wine vinegar, I would recommend that, but use whatever vinegar you got hanging around. We got some olive oil, just a touch. This is about a tablespoon or so. Uh, so what I was mentioning before, we're gonna kind of make this a hoser style, and what we have here is some Clamato. And what this is gonna do is add just a touch of richness. Oh yeah, it smells good. And we're adding about a third of a cup in there. In you go. And you can't have a Caesar without a little bit of horseradish. So if you got this hanging around, great. This is totally optional. You don't need to be, uh, to be adding these last couple of components. All right. And just a shake of the old Belician heat. This stuff is super nice and spicy. So again, like I said, whatever you have hanging around, if you got Tabasco, you can use that. Whatever hot sauce you got, you got Frank's hot sauce, no big deal. Okay, last but not least, a little bit of salt and pepper. And we've got a really nice fresh avocado salsa ready and waiting for our whitefish ceviche. All right, so we're 90 minutes into the future here and uh, all the acids from that lemon and lime juice has produced that denaturation process and has cooked the, uh, the whitefish. So as you can see, you're looking for that kind of opaque color and it's ready to go. So we're just gonna start throwing all this into our avocado salsa. Let's switch up here. And you can add some of, the, it depends on how much you want of that lemon and lime flavor. And we're just gonna mix all these guys together and we're ready to plate. Oh baby, look at this. This is gonna be great right here. See, so just look at all the colors you have going on here. You're gonna have a lot of different, uh, um, different textures going on and everything like that. Beautiful, all right, we're ready to go. So a really classic way of plating and the accoutrements that go with this Mexican style slash hoser style uh, ceviche will be some uh, tostadas. Tostadas are just uh, flat, crispy corn tortillas. And we're just gonna quickly plate these on that and try not to make a giant mess here. Oh, look at that, that looks beautiful. Stay together, there we go. And you know, Cinco de Mayo is coming up and this is a celebration of, oh, down he goes, of the, um, the Mexican army beating the French about 150 years ago. 
So we're gonna celebrate with a little bit of mezcal as well. We picked up this mezcal in uh, Guatemala at this place called Cafe Noce, and it was just a really, really cool place. And it just seems to me that it'll just go really nicely with our ceviche. So from my kitchen to yours, my friends, bon appetit.